Hi, welcome to Baxter Bell Yoga. I'm Baxter Bell. I'm here at the Oakland Yoga Studio. And today's mini vinyasa is going to be dynamic crescent moon pose. Sometimes called, like sometimes called this new moon pose, but you'll get the idea in a moment. So I have a block handy. You don't necessarily need to use a block, but I like to use it for this. So I'm going to take my block, place it between my inner thighs, halfway between the knees and the pubic bone, and I'm just going to give it a nice little firm squeeze. So I have a sense of the inner thighs activating, and it helps to just stabilize and strengthen those legs. So then to do the dynamic crescent moon pose, the first thing we're going to do is inhale the arms out to the side and overhead. And then exhaling, we're going to tip a little bit to our right, and then we're going to inhale to center, and we're going to exhale and tip a little bit to the left. And we're going to inhale to center. We're going to repeat that. In exhaling, and inhaling, and exhaling, and inhaling. You'll notice that I'm trying to keep my head, and again, in between my arms evenly. As I go to the side, there can be a tendency for this arm to hang down, so I want to keep that nice and active. And then after this, exhalation, bring the arms down to your sides. So that was three times side to side with the block between the thighs. So you can keep that block between the thighs and do it again. I'm going to set the block off to the side. I'm going to try to generate that same sense of strength in the thighs without becoming knock kneed. So I have to imagine the block is still in place, pressing out against my inner thighs. Same sequence, but without the block. So inhale the arms out to the side and overhead, palms facing one another. Good. And then exhale, tipping to the right a few inches. Good. Inhaling to center. Exhale, tipping to the left a few inches. The hips can shift to the side slightly. Inhaling to center. Exhale. My hips go a little to my left as my torso tips to my right. Inhaling. Exhaling. And inhaling one more time to each side. Moving with your breath. Exhaling to the side. Inhaling to center, and then finally bringing the arms down to your sides. So dynamic crescent moon pose, done with that little side-to-side -side movement. The legs stay very active and engaged. It's a great strengthener for the legs. It not only opens up the side body, but it also strengthens the side body, and it also strengthens and mobilizes the shoulders. So you get lots of good benefits with dynamic crescent moon pose. So that's it for today with our dynamic mini vinyasa. Follow me offline at BaxterBell.com, uh, on my blog site, uh, Yoga for Healthy Aging, and look for longer practices on the practice channel at YogaYouOnline.com. Until next time, namaste.